Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Milan, and they take on Empoli. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And the starting 11 for Empoli. Well, it's a 4-4-2 of sorts, but they will play with a number 10, who I believe has to affect the game. Yes, he needs to pass it well, but he also needs to make runs beyond the two strikers. A potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us, and Milan get the ball rolling. It might be on for them. Takes aim, and a goal! That is a very bright start, perfect way to open. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Just restarted, 1 0 here. Olivier Giroud. Andrea Pinamonti. Well, the attack looks promising. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Di Francesco Djurkovski and the ball with Stojanovic and the last touch off the defender so a corner coming up Who can he pick out? Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Rafael Leao. Brahim. Giroud. Couldn't keep it. Stulatz Parisi
Giroud. Brahim Diaz now. Given away by Milan. Di Francesco. By Rami. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Can't miss, surely. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Teo Hernandez. Superb effort to keep it in. Options in the middle. But dealt with efficiently. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Not a short corner here. Promising possession, this. Kessier. Making sure it didn't get past him. Magnificent defending. So almost at the halfway mark with Milan chasing the game here. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen from them in this half? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Nedim Bayrami. And the ball back with Milan now. Rafael Leao. It's with Giroud. A glorious chance. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, quite frankly, Olivier Giroud hasn't been able to express himself out there on the pitch today, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. A potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us. And Milan get the ball rolling. It might be on for them. Takes aim. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. It's with Giroud. A glorious chance. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Stulatz. Henderson. By Rami. And you can sense the threat is there. Federico Di Francesco. Henderson. Simple save, really.
And they need to get tighter here. Giroud. And back with Giroud. And in with a real chance. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, here it is again. And you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Underway again with Milan in charge. Andrea Pinamonti. And continues his run. But they dealt with the threat first. 30 minutes to go then. Oh, far from the ideal pass. Nedim Bayrami. Able to clear the danger. Corner kick though here. Time for a change then. Who can they pick out? He did his job defensively. Kessier. And threading it forward. And tossing through. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him apparently. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Substitution time it is here. So back underway at 3 1. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Di Francesco. And on the ball, Valerio Vere. Parisi. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Henderson. Moving forward effectively. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Tonali with it. On to Ibrahimovic. Brahim Diaz now. Milan have lost the ball. Shimon Zhurkovsky. Petar Stojanovic. It's with Kutrone. Nedim Bayrami. 
Verre. Federico Di Francesco. Is it going to be? Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, the action underway once more. And no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Sandro Tonali. Ibrahimovic. Shot attempted. Able to get a body in the way. So there it is, the final whistle, and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri. What did you think of their performance in this game? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. A potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us and Milan get the ball rolling it might be on for them takes aim and a goal that is a very bright start perfect way to open it's with Giroud a glorious chance No shortage of excitement, level again, no wonder they're excited. Giroud. And a goal here, there it is, they've done it. And threading it forward, and tossing through. Federico Di Francesco. Is it going to be? Not finished yet. Not.